Hi everyone, my name is Pranav. Here's how I design a CRISPR knockout. And how you can too. So first off, we're going to type in benchling.com slash CRISPR in our search bar. Now we're going to get to this page. If you haven't already signed up, sign up. But if you have, go to your login. And now I'm going to log in here using sign in with Google. Now once you sign in, you're going to get to this page right here. This is your kind of workspace. Right now it's empty because I'm not actually doing anything. Um, you can see I've already done some projects on the left hand side. That's the home. You have your projects button. You have your search button. And you also have your create button on the left hand side where you can create DNA RNA sequences, CRISPR guides, which we'll be doing today as well. Yeah, and that's that. So let's get started. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit the create project button. Now you want to name your project. I'm going to name it CRISPR knockout of PD1 immune checkpoint. You can add a description if you want. If not, that's completely fine. I'm going to create the project. I'm going to go ahead and create DNA slash RNA sequences, import DNA slash RNA sequences, and I'm going to import from database. Now I'm going to type in PDCD1, which also refers to the PD1 gene. I'm going to click human, search, and then we got the PDCD1201 gene right here. That's completely the same thing. I'm going to hit import. Now, there we go. We got our gene. So now we're going to go back to that top left corner, hit the plus sign. We're going to go to CRISPR, CRISPR guides. We're going to search for our gene. PDCD1, which is our PD1 gene. I'm going to make sure I have GRC H38, the human genome. And I'm going to make sure to select all the transcripts so that my CRISPR knockout will target all the possible forms of the protein since genes often produce multiple mRNA transcripts. I'm going to hit next. And once that loads, I'm going to hit finish. Just make sure that your genome is GRCH38, human genome, because you don't want to be doing it for a rat or a mouse, a human. Hit finish. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead to the linear map, and we're going to try to pick an exon in which we will place our CRISPR guide. Now we don't want to pick anything too close to the five prime or the three prime ends of a gene during CRISPR knockout because that can lead to inefficient knockouts or unintended consequences since there are very critical regulatory functions that take place in these areas. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to pick exon two and here it is on the left. Now, once we've picked exon two, I'm going to click on CRISPR, design and analyze guides our human genome is correct pam and click on create now i'm going to hit the create button again the plus sign and there we go we've created a bunch of guide rna sequences we have our pam sequence which always ends with two guanines or on target off target scores higher on target scores meaning better efficiency at cutting your intended target gene which in this case is pd1 and higher off target scores meaning fewer potential off target effects now i'm just going through these guide sequences and trying to figure out which ones are hitting all my transcripts and transcripts are as you can see the brown purple and green arrow all right so we want to hit all the transcripts to maximize our chances of knocking this gene out and disrupting its function. So I'm going to pick 6021 because that was hitting all the transcripts. It's got a good on target, off target score. I'm also going to pick 6010 at the cup position because it's also got a pretty good on target, off target score. Then I'm going to hit um, 6016 because that one's pretty good too. Then I'm going to hit assemble to assemble our plasmid, right? Put our guide RNA into a plasmid so it can be delivered. Choose our vector, Lenti CRISPR V2. Then I'm going to hit next. And then we have our three PDCD1 plasmid assemblies. I'm going to pick my folder. I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder first. 
gonna name it TDC V1. Hit create. And then I'm gonna hit select. Then assemble. And then the assembly is complete. Now I'm gonna go to create a notebook entry. Now I personally actually don't have too much experience with this yet, so I can't give you too much advice. But what I have learned is it's pretty cool because you can view your plasmids. And as you can see, the green annotated arrow, the PDCD1, it's inside our plasmid. And the blue arrows are Cas9 complex. And that's how you design a CRISPR knockout. If you like this video, like and share it. And if you want to see more like this, subscribe to my channel. If you want to connect with me, you can go to my personal website at pranavsaitg at github.io. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care and stay tuned.